Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back, YouTubers. How was all doing? Took the car to the garage this morning. I've got to wait till that. I've got to go back in a three, four hours or so and pick that up. See how that's going on. So today I thought I'll do another video. What I'm going to do? We're going to check some steel books out. We're going to have a look at some DVD steel books. We're going to have a look at some Blu-ray steel books, and I'm just going to go through them all. They're in no specific order. Some order in there, some I collect definitive editions, you name it, all sorts of steel books. So there'll be a lot of stuff different in there. So we're going to crack on with it. This is the first one. Check this out. Lucio Full Cheese The Beyond XT steel book or metal pack if you want to call them. Most of all these DVDs and Blu-ray steel books will be all in the shrink wrap baggies to look after them. As I've said, I've been collecting these for a while. Check this out, another XT one, one of my favourite DVD steel books. Great one, that. Cannibal Holocaust, can't say enough about that. Great looking steel book. Next one, check this out. Halloween, I think this is a Swedish metal pack one. Rob Zombie's Halloween, cool edition. Blood pack edition there. As I've said, I've just took handfuls of steel books off my shelves, so it's going to be a bit all over this. Next one, seven. This was a second hand pick up, this one. Bought it off a market store where I normally go to. Brad Pitt, Morgan uh, Freeman, two discs, special edition. It's a great looking steel book, that. Great find. I was buzzing when I found that one. I'm just going to keep moving these around because. I've got a few to show you, and you know what space is like. I'm in the back room. Right, here's another one. Check that out. The Ultimate Bond Collection. Trilogy of Films, three disc. That was pretty cheap. Um, that was a second-hand one as well. Not a bad one. Next. I still see this one about. I seen one about a couple of weeks ago when I went out. Romanzo's Criminal, another foreign one. Just pop that one down there. So you've got a few there. One of my favourite ones where I grew up watching. Great looking DVD steel book, all embossed on the front. Check that out. Christopher Lambert, Sean Connery, the classic Highlander. Great one, that one. Highlander! Here's another one. Bit tatty this one. A lot of this is second hand, all this stuff. You've got Lake Cake, Lock Stock. Great one. Pop that one down there. Next. I still see this one about. You've got Resident Evil Apocalypse, Resident Evil Extinction, and you've got The Rock in there with Doom. Not a bad steel book. Another second hand one, I didn't pay a lot for it, I think I paid about a pound, something like that for it, wasn't a lot. So you've got a few nice steelies there. You need me talk about steel books, I do like a steel book. Right, I'm just going to grab another pile, as you can see, no specific order. I think this one, 2012, I do have a, a Blu-ray, yeah this is the Blu-ray version. See, it's stuff mixed up all over. I do have a DVD version, a bigger version of that as well. It's not a bad one. Come on, who doesn't like the Mummy Trilogy? Great looking steel book. I remember when they were selling these in Asda. And I think they wanted about 12 quid, 10 quid or something like that. I paid about 3 quid for this. Found it. Excellent condition. Love the Mummy Trilogy. It's one I'm going to have to pick up on the Blu-ray. I don't own on Blu-ray. Yet, here's another one for you. Check that out. Die Hard. Die Hard Part 4. Not a bad looking steel book. When I do this, if there's a, any of these, what are uh, like duplicates, I'll just sit it on the top because uh, I need the floor space. A classic one I grew up watching. Remember this years and years ago. The firm, Gary Oldman. It's a great looking steel book. 
That's another second hand pickup. It's in pretty good nick for its age, that one as well. It's an old one. Right, here's one for you. Platoon, definitive editions. As I said, I'm going to show you a lot of these definitive editions. So there'll be stuff in there you'll say why has he got that because it's all a part of the collection I'm trying to collect all of these there's about 35 of them if i remember rightly let's pop that down there so there you have it next one one i like i do have it on blu-ray as well as this one i am legend will smith i do enjoy this film and like i say i picked the steel book up i have a blu-ray what i picked up pretty cheap and I do like that steel book. I like that all the, the post-apocalypse background, last man on earth sort of thing. Two disc special edition. As you can see, check that out. Beautiful looking steel book. Next one, Mel Gibson's Apocalypto. Another awesome steel book. Film's not too clever, like with the steel books. Okay, this was on the telly not so long ago. I was flipping through one Saturday night and it was on. It was on one of the film channels. Next one. Check this out. Night watch. Not a bad looking there. Uh, seen this on the horror channel a few times. I love that artwork on there. Look at that. It's great. The glasses there look with the fire in the background and stuff. Awesome looking steel book that. Next one. I'm just going to grab another pile. These are the definitive editions. Independence Day. I remember when these were top price to buy. I remember when, uh, the very first one I bought of this was about £19, getting on 20 quid. I think that was Predator or Terminator. I think, yeah, Predator first. So, I always look out for these because I do like them. As you can see, look at that. All st steel book DVDs, these. Silence of the Lamp. <laughs> Can't beat a bit of... Uh, Anthony Hopkins and Jodie Foster. Master in Command. Russell Crowe. With a definitive edition. Nice looking one. One of my favourite ones. I've got this a few times. I do enjoy this. Sean Connery. The League of um, Extraordinary Gentlemen. Reminds me of in the vein of like Van Helsing and all those sort of films. Right, here's one for you. Predator. Awesome, look at that. Can't beat a bit of Predator. Schwarzenegger. Get it a chopper. Put this on the top because there's another one. See when I find them in the cheap. I just pick them up. If I ever do a competition. Do you know what I mean? Another great looking second hand steel book. Aliens vs Predator. Just look at the artwork on that. That's stunning that. Make a good tattoo with that. So as you can see, the floor's starting to fill up. Next one. Predator 2. I love that as well. These definitive editions, the artwork on them is proper stellar. The great looking steel box. Check that out. Predator 2. Awesome edition. As you can see, there you go. Aliens and Predator. Predator 2. As I've said, I don't have all of these definitive editions yet. I still find, when I find them, I pick them up. I got this out of HMV when it was shutting down. Pretty cheap. Alien Steelbook. I do have the full trilogy of those on Blu-ray. Numerous DVD box sets I've got in the collection. Another one. Speed. Great looking art artwork on it. Come on, Keanu Reeves. It's not one I watch all the time, but the wife watches a lot of this stuff. Do you know, she has it on DVD. She'll watch some of these as well. Next one. Daredevil. Ben Affleck. A lot of people don't like it. I actually, I can watch it. I find it pretty good. Not bad. You've got um, Colin Farrell in there. There's Bullseye. Next one. Whoop. Check this out. X-Men. If you watch my channel, you know I'm a big fan of these. Can't beat a bit of X-Men. I'll just pop that one down there. Next. Kingdom of Heaven. So another definitive one. Great looking stuff. I think there's only one in there. Like the collection of 35 where it's got 
I think it's four discs or three discs. Right, I'm just going to grab another pile. This video will probably be a bit all over, but never mind. Battle of Britain. Awesome artwork. Look at that, the Spitfires on the front. Great looking stuff. Robert Shaw in there, if you remember. Out with Jaws. Quint. Next one. Platoon. As you can see. I'll just pop that up there. That's like a double pick up that one, so... Keep the uh, more room to put other stuff down. As you can see, another definitive one. iRobot. I do have a tin edition of this. As you can see, I've told you I like tins and steel books and stuff like that. I've took some stuff out of there, I've just so when I'm laying them all on the shelf, there's a couple of tins there. Some tins down there. The tins there, look at those. DVD tins of Pacific. You've got Blu-ray tins there as well, look. Band of Brothers. Great stuff. Like I say, I've had all this buried. Some more alien stuff there. You've seen these. I've got these numerous times. I'm looking for a mint copy of that, which I've got now. Found for about 75p. Wasn't dear. More box sets on there. Like I say, I've took all this stuff out. Right. That's for another time. Get back to where we, where I was. Showing you my DVD steel box. I think there's one Blu-ray so far. 2012 there, where I've got mixed up. Never mind. You've got Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Definitive edition. Not a bad action movie that. It's, uh, I picked it up with it being a definitive one. Get it in the collection. Brad Pitt again. Fight Club. Awesome edition. Fight Club. As I said I just pulled piles off. Stacked them on the floor so you're going to see them in mixed up with the Terminator classic come on you can see I think it was the Predator one I paid that one uh, I paid top price for it and like I say the others are like when I found them for like under a quid sort of thing it's another Terminator there so I'll just pop it on the top so as you can see right I picked this up a couple of months ago from hell a great looking steel book that look at that it's awesome i love the red on there and the black johnny depp i have got a two disc dvd of that floating around click as well i don't mind the story of jack the ripper it's uh awesome stuff as i said a lot of these steel books i do have on dvds and in box sets and stuff like that so it's awesome stuff here's one for you the karate kid collection a bit tatty this one as you can see someone hasn't looked after it as i've said all this is second hand a lot of it you find them if you look about and now look about for stuff and find them as you can see the floor's filling up there look i just moved back a little bit oh, these are still the dvds still got a lot to show you right here's one for you kingdom of the crystal skull went to pictures to see it i found this for a couple of i think it was a two pound or something like that it's still got the receipt in it and the receipt was like 15 quid or something like that so a lot of people say it's garbage i can watch it I don't mind it. Check this out. Al Pacino. Got a bit of Al Pacino collection. I see the Robert De Niro one about, but it's all knackered and tattered on the spine. Tan looks like someone stood on it and bust the spine, so I keep away from it. You've got See a Love in there and Scarface. Remember getting that out on the video years ago. See a Love. Here's one for you. Transformers. Embossed Steel DVD. Still got the back end card on it as well that was another second i think that was um cash converters or something like that i found that so i thought why not pick it up next and out apologize for the glare on these like i say these are all in shrink wraps right I'll grab another pile whoop knock another pile over sorry right check this one out apocalypse now Awesome looking steel book. Look at that. I do have a Blu-ray collector's edition box set of that. You now like the close encounters what come out within multiple discs in it and stuff. I have the Apocalypse and our one. It's an awesome edition. Here's one for you. Where's your tool? What fucking tool? This fucking tool, scum. 
two versions of the film there the TV version and the one that was out on the video great looking one two disc collector's edition of scum one I grew up watching here's one for you George A. Romero's Diary of the Dead I can't I enjoy this film as well as you can see it's a numbered one I didn't pay a lot for that excellent condition next one Cloverfield I don't see this about too often now it's like an ammo tin box sort of thing DVD Not a bad version next check that out two disc DVD set Kings of New York Christopher Walkins this is an arrow drone version it's a great one pretty cheap as well next one Jason Streckham Death Race I can take these all leave them. I say the Blu-ray is pretty cheap. But I haven't picked them up. So it's just a few with the steel books there. Oh, move back a bit more. There's one for you. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Two disc series ultimate edition. Can't go wrong with that. I've got numerous Texas Chainsaw Massacre stuff, Blu-rays and steel books. They're probably amongst all this lot. Check this one out. It's one of my favourite steel books. What I've got in my collection. French edition. John Carpenter's The Thing. Great looking artwork on it. I like that the artwork's like sideways instead of long ways on this. It's a great edition. Looks and sounds excellent for a DVD this. One of the best editions I've got. Awesome stuff. Can't beat the thing. Next one. Four disc. Box set. Hellboy. If you like a bit of Hellboy. It's a great edition to own. It's pretty cheap as well like I say a lot of this stuff I've picked up for next to nothing I thought I'll get them all out while I'm off work show you them here's one for you company of wolves I've got a blu-ray edition of this I still see this about every now and then for about a pound 150 if you're not fussy about any scratches on them or out like that you can find them so a lot of this is in excellent condition there's one for you Rambo don't mind this movie, looks excellent on Blu-ray, looks good on the DVD actually. Got Rambo there. Next one. First few movies of Fast and Furious. Awesome stuff. Don't mind those, I like the Blu-rays. Next, as you can see there, another 2000. That's the DVD version. It's the Blu-ray one over there. So I'll just as you can see, I'll just pop that one on top of there because I've showed that the blue ray of that and I'm running out of floor. As you can see, I'm running out of floor space here. Next one, I'll grab another pile. I think this is the last pile of the DVDs ones. Love this one. I've got the tin edition of this. This is the trilogy. It's all embossed. I love that. Uh, Love the look of this steel book. I, th I think I paid about five for that. Second hand, you'd probably get it cheap. You know, I've had it a while. Next one, one of hers indoors. I didn't say too much about that one. It's not my really cup of tea. Sin City, awesome. I've got Sin City two on the Blu-ray. Still see that one floating about. Next one, Gangsters, these are great ways if you if you get lazy and you just sit chilling watching movies, you get like fucking a multiple of movies in there, you just keep watching them, I've got a horror one, we'll come across it, you've got a bit of fantasy there, Nanny McPhee, Pan's Labyrinth, Peter Pan, Next one, it's one of my favourite ones. This. I watch this one regularly. You've got Hostel, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Candyman, Urban Legend. I still know what he did last summer. Great way of housing them all. As I said, Lazy Man's DVDs. Pretty cheap when you find these as well. You just watch one. My knees are killing me now, so just bear with me. Oh. War films. Got Casualty of War in there. Went the picture to see that back in 1989. Awesome stuff. Shawshank, Gladiator, 
Catch a Fire, In the Name of the Father, I don't mind that one as well. Daniel Day Lewis. Aviator, love that. Just silver, steel book with the black writing on it. Awesome addition. Gladiator. Gladiator, your name. My name is Maximus Gladiator Steelbook Collectorus. Sorry about that. <laughs> Another die I had for one. I can't lean over it. It's up there. And you know, uh, one's a Blu-ray, I think. I might be wrong. It's up there. Right, check this one out. American Gangster. Another cheap old one. Two disc one. Great looking edition. Right, I'm going to move a pile of blue rays over so I can get that one in. We'll take a look at some blue rays. Oh, be a few other ones in these. Right, I'll just pop that one in there. As you can see, I'll give you a quick. few titles there. Right. I'll just have a drink of me bro. Cheers. Oh. As I said, as you can see there, I'm running out of space. I've got a bit of room here. I've got them behind me. The doors there can't shut so I'll just stack them as I'm going through them here now because I really am going to run out of room. So you've got Halloween, Rob Zombies, German Steel Book. I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll put them up here. The light's not very good though. Next one, Halloween 2, XT, Lenticular Steel Book. Great one that. It's a DVD edition. Because I've got them out the, the back cupboard. I'll just move these and then I won't have to keep turning all the time. Apologise for this. Lack of room. Oh. Right, now we're getting somewhere. Got Halloween. German. Steelbook. Great addition. One I picked up not too long ago. Silent Hill. Great looking steelbook. I've watched this. Part of me Halloween month. It's a great one, worth getting in anyone's collection. Found it for next and out as well. Can't go wrong. Next, I haven't had this one long. Blu ray, Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Deathy Allows Part 2. Not a bad one. It's a bit darker here because I've got a, a set of either. Here's one for you. The Frighteners, awesome looking. Couple of versions on this one as well. It's not a bad movie. It looks excellent on the Blu-ray. Big fan of that uh, steel book. Next one, Spendables Two. Yo, Adrian. Come on. Can't beat a bit of that. Director's cut. Robin Hood. Russell Crowe again. Next, one of the very first steel books he had before he had a Blu-ray player. Terminator Salvation. Love this film. Love the artwork on there. This was a second hand one, I think I paid about one fifty for it or something like that. Two pounds, it wasn't expensive. Next one. Speaking of Sylvester Stallone. Rocky. Yo Adrian, I did it! Come on, it's a classic Apollo Creed. Apollo! There you go. So there's a few there. Apologise if it's a bit darker here. Next one. Put them in the Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden? Excellent. 25th anniversary, as you can see there. 25th anniversary edition. Bill and Ted. Great looking one. Love that film. Like the Bogus Journey as well. It's awesome. Next one. <laughs> in the sale there, look at Fiverr. This, this is in a bag. This is how it was when I bought it. <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean, Strange on Stranger Tides. Went to pictures to see that with there indoors. So you've got Battle of Los Angeles. Awesome looking steel book. Great stuff. Next. District 9. 
great looking one that awesome blue ray steel but next twilight saga i got this for air indoors <laughs> don't diss the twilight the patterson rub patterson whatever they call him here's one for you fast and the furious part five triple play an awesome addition Can't say enough about these spaghetti westerns, Clint Eastwood. Come on now, great looking steel book. I do have um, steel book box. Sorry, a box set, Blu-ray box set of that sort of stuff. Here's one for you. Check that one out. Company of the Wolves. Awesome artwork on that. Look. I showed you I had the um, DVD steel book. This is the Blu-ray one. Awesome edition. Two disc steel book collector's edition. It's one for you. Return of the Living Dead. Awesome one that you really should get this one in your collection. It's a mint edition that you should get that one. Here's another favourite of mine. Evil Dead. Awesome looking steel book. Come on. Sam Raimi. Remember this uh, in the 80s when it came out. Scared the shit out of me. Thought it was brilliant. Got numerous DVD editions of that one now. It's another one for you. X-Men. Went the pictures to see this one. Brilliant edition. Days of Future Past. Awesome one. Check that out. The Last Stand. Great artwork on that. Look at that. Can't beat a bit of you, Jackman. So, I'll just stand up because my knees are killing me. Apologise for that. So, I'll just move a bit back over here. So, you've got a few of those there. Turn around over here, and there's an, another pile there where I've started. Right, I'm going to show you another pile. Right, I'll try and get a few more down here. Right, check this out. 40th edition. 40th anniversary edition, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Awesome edition, that. Love that one. I'll just move another pile over. Right, here we go, check this out. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Great looking steel book. Prefer the first one. Next one. <laughs> Get the fuck out of there! Eddie Murphy, classic. Come on. Who didn't grow up with watching this? That that uh, Axel F. That music. Awesome. There you go. Avatar. Steel book. You paid about three quid for that. Not a bad addition. Next one, Minority Report, Minority Report, Tom Cruise, I haven't had this one long, Old Boy, not a bad film, watched it, pretty good, pop that one in there, The Fly, great addition, Next one, there's it's uh, the other one. The original, and that's uh, David Cronenberg one. Remember getting that out years ago and enjoyed it. Right, I'll get some more out. Right, you've got the Wolfman steel book. Great edition, this. I found this in the uh, No Man They Don't Sell, the bargain basement in HMV. I picked that one up. So I thought, why not? One I got last week, or the, yeah, I think it was last week. L Abraham Lincoln, the Vampire Hunters. Not a bad addition. Oh. Super 8. Great looking steel book, that. Final Destination 5. Awesome addition. Don't mind that film. One of my favourite steel books. Check that out. Wolverine. Great movie that. Hugh Jackman. Awesome. Oh, Apologise for that. Knees are gone to sleep. Oh, Let's sit down for five minutes. As you can see. Apologise for this. It's a long video. If I can, if I can upload this. 